Let's go ahead and connect our glass here. As you can see, we got a little bitty gap in here, and that can be fixed by either scaling this down, like so, or scaling the glass up. It's really up to you how you want to fix it. But when I scaled that down, you can see what happened. So I recommend scaling the glass up a tad. That looks a lot better. Okay, let's get in here and do our rollers. First thing I'm going to do is hide our glass. So let's go into our, let's see here. Let's go into, I don't know if I want to do our front, let's do our back, no, let's do our front view. Let's get in close here. Okay, let's get a new mesh. Let's get a cube, and let's lay down a cube, like so. Let's scoot it back. Okay, let's bring it out some here. Like so, that's looking pretty good there. Alright, let's go ahead and grab our edges. And let's bevel our edges on this thing. Okay, now we got us a subdivided cube here, square. Now we need to make our rollers that go within this track. So let's get let's grab our tube tool, and I'm gonna place it right here. Now let's go to my model quad view and see how off I am. See how far off I am there? So let's go ahead and drag this back to about right here. Now you can see we're inside of our block. Now I can go ahead and bring out a tube like this. Actually, I'm going to make sure it's not closed. Okay, and we're going to stretch out a tube here. Like so. We're going to go around and down. And we're going to keep going down until we get down far enough to clear this. And I, we can fix all this if we're not right on, as you can see here. So let's bring this down to about right there. Back to our model quad view. Let's go ahead and bring it over. Like so. And just position your points the best you can. They don't have to be perfect. Not too many people's going to be seeing this. Go to our perspective view. When I say not too many people is going to be seeing this, I mean not too many people is going to be seeing this close onto the model. So it's not like it has to be perfect. Especially what's going through here on the back side. Okay, now let's just even this up a little, a little bit. looking a little better a lot better actually okie dokie now let's go ahead and adjust these points a little bit like so Take your time and make your adjustments. It's not like anybody can see through this geometry, so there's no really worries. Okay. That looks a lot better. Now let's grab our block and let's drag it down a little. 
where it's touching. Okay, now let's grab this and let's scale it down some. Like that right there. Now, let's go in here and let's grab this loop. And that looks pretty good. Let's, ex let's extrude it. Actually, I'm going to bevel it. Out like that. Like so. I'll make sure I make it big enough to cover the railing there. And let's scale it down just a tad. Now we have our little roller there, as you can see. Let me subdivide this. Okay, now let's go ahead and look close here. Let's grab this edge, hit the W key, and let's pull it back in a little bit so it looks like we got sort of a little roller there. It's two separate pieces. Okay, so let's grab this now. Copy and paste it, and let's drag it over. Like so. Which it's a little far. There. Now we have our rollers. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take all these, move them over. Like so, we're going to rotate it up like that, and we are going to adjust, 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 and that's looking a little better. Okay, now we have our roller there. Let's go ahead and mirror this. We'll do a regular mirror. We'll mirror it in X. And let us center this up the best we can. And boom. Now we have our rollers. Okay, so now let's go in here, build one more cylinder. If we got time. Like so. And I'm going to pull it out like that. Make sure that's sticking out the end there a little bit. Let's grab this polygon. Let's bevel it. Bring it out. Shift click. Bring it out. That just gives us a little tip there. Bring this back to where it touches. Now we have our cap on the end now. Let's take this and move it back. Bevel it. Let's bring it out like that. Shift click and we'll bring it forward. Now let's bring the visibility of our glass back in just to see where we're at here. Now you can see this rolls along that roller and we're pretty close. Let's go ahead and bring our glass down like so. Now that's pretty close. Let's reduce the radius of this. Looking pretty good. Okay, and then bring this out like so. Okay, let's go back here. Let's hide our glass again. And we will duplicate this. Take it straight over. Like so. Turn back on our glass. And now our rollers are attached. And it will roll up and down there. So now all we have to do 
is select our mesh which are these things here and let's mirror them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my duplicate tab mirror I'm going to do an instance this time in Z I'm going to click right in the middle and as you can see that does a pretty good job of placing them almost right where we need them let's just back them up a little like that turn back on our glass okay now we have our rollers that go and connect to our glass one more thing real quick let's run the thicken tool on this middle seat 